Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in and welcome to the Kedron factory. So today we're gonna to have a run through a 24 foot by seven foot eight Kedron XC5 in the bunk layout. So it has the island queen bed at the front, which extends and retracts. It has the center club dinette and kitchen opposite. And then walking through to the rear of the van has the double bunks with storage below and then enter through the ensuite door to the right and it's a wrap around into the shower itself as well through another separate door back to the outside of the van here you can see the size of the 24 footer here beautiful van all set up great layout really nice and open heaps of room and silver all pulling in with the american pickup here so the larger pickup truck, this van has a payload of a thousand. So they can pack up to a ton in this van with that additional size in that tow vehicle. Has the electric front jack here, the boxed off aluminium plate over the twin nine kilos, forward folding twin bike rack that goes forward to allow that design registered Kedron unique front solar awning to lift up this one has had the solar taken off or not fitted as it has four 180s up on top of the van so plenty of solar I'll just confirm the amount of solar in the description as well looks like it's got an 80 at the back so it might have four 180s and two 80s by the look of it but I will confirm it in the description diesel heater is inset in that front boot lockable inside this front slide out barbecue or portable barbecue provision and storage box there behind is a 400 amp lithium power pack has the gas bayonet there on the outside now this has the kedron krs in the airbag suspension so the firestone american airbags and standard with the airbag fitted kedrons is the tire inflation kit with the added addition of that extender to reach your tow vehicle. So if you're on the beach, you're towing on the beach and you are coming up off onto the bitumen again, you don't have to line up at the service station. You can pump the tires of your van and tow vehicle up with your own compressed air. Kedron load rated alloys here, the Goodyear Wrangler in the Dura tracks underneath, you can see the Kedron KRS protection plates there. So they're all formed in part of that hot dip galvanized chassis. So the utmost amount of peace of mind for corrosion protection inside and outside the Kedron owner's chassis and has been since the start. The KRS in the Firestone airbags, so the American Firestone airbags, the KRS in the recovery stub is unique for the Kedron owners. It has all been physically ram tested at the government approved lab in South Australia and also been tested throughout the Gore Boys adventures up the old telegraph track and through the Maytown track. So huge amount of testing gone into this suspension here. This is also riding on the disc brakes and forward of this are the Australian made food grade water tanks. So you can see the recess there for the rock protection for the fittings. They also feature baffles or rock dropouts. So these have a dual benefit there. When you're off-road, it allows any buildup of rocks up top to be able to drop out, but it also limits the water sloshing left to right and provides a really nice stable tow or assists with the stable tow we might pop straight inside and have a look i'll just shut this door and i'll jump in entering into the van first impressions on the 24 foot by 7 foot 8 is the amount of space really nice and roomy open feel so you can see the length of the kitchen there and then through to the back there is a mirror in the entrance to the ensuite there and then to the left of that is the bunks so I'll quickly just show down here it has the twin bunks there both bunks feature twin led lights the bunk net so you have a safety bunk net in this top one 
so that can go underneath the mattress if there's an adult up there or if you prefer you can have that go up for the security for a minor 12 volt fans as well as usb and main outlets there swiveling back towards the front of the van you can see the island queen bed there plenty of room plenty of storage you can see in the front of that kitchen to the left of the kitchen pull out drawers additional storage there as well the electronics heartland on the inside there so with that has the circuit resetters controls for the charger inverter readouts there for the state of charge of that 400 amp lithium power pack also level indicators for the drinking shower and gray water tanks Above this, the CD player, Bluetooth, USB, as well as the CD. The top left is the dual controller, so that controls both that instant hot water system on the outside, as well as the low profile aircon up here. The press button circuit resetters, and then also the mains power shutoffs there. To the right hand side of that is the microwave with the stainless steel bracket system on the side so that gives it additional strength and securing especially when off-road slimline range hood underneath and you can see the mains power outlets there below some welcome bubbles and chockies so it has that fan forced oven separate griller three gas one two forty this also has the dual sink or dual basin in the sink in this one here so there was a request to have that second small basin there for the sink or bowl and then that large drain you can see a marble or a granite look in the laminate here that complements beautiful off with that stained american oak on the edging and wraps up into that mocha splashback going against the white wall and then into that pearl white in the furniture and then silver in the face of the doors themselves so i'll just swivel around to the other side to show so you can see it has the white or pearl in that furniture and then the silver here metallic silver to go against up top the shine is because that's an aluminium dye bond above that is the australian made thermo block non-toxic insulation Coming back into the van and into the walls is an interlocked aluminium frame with high tensile steel punch pins. Between this also is a non-toxic Australian made insulation as well. Where the wiring carries through that aluminium frame, you can see the plastic grommets that are knocked in. They provide additional protection there also for that wiring as it passes through. Back into the van, you can see the size of the large club dinette. So at the press of a button down below, you can adjust that in, out, left, right. The other one, you press it, you can drop that table down, put an infill cushion and have another large additional bed space there as well. Large window above this to take in the views and ventilation when you wish to do so. Or as it is now, you can have your utmost amount of privacy and insulation. 12 volt fan above the club dinette there and then one either side of the island queen bed so stepping forward to the island queen bed are some more welcome gifts there on top of a locally made bamboo deluxe pocket spring mattress so beautiful comfort with these again all locally made here in brisbane Lift up slatted bed base. Underneath this has a 3000 watt inverter and a 120 amp combi charger. So that there has the ability to be able to run the aircon off that inverter as well. Above the bed here is the Fiemma in the roof in out adjustable fan hatch. So that forms in part of the gas code to also supply permanent roof to floor ventilation swiveling back towards the rear of the van between that club dinette and the bunks is a twin door compressor fridge freezer and then additional pull out drawer storage next to that and then in between the bunks is a led switched robe 
close that off. There is a divider curtain in this one to be able to section off the bunk area from the main living space and obviously the front island queen bed. Bunk ladder there, stained American oak on the side, pull out drawers and an access door, diesel heater outlet there. Open up and enter into the wraparound ensuite. There is a ceramic bowl there with a the flick mixer tap. There is the cassette toilet there. Wall mount a washing machine, more additional storage and the robe. This door is open, I'll just shut that and show that that has the soft blue night light there. Plenty of room in front of that toilet, the cassette toilet there. And then open up the entrance door into the shower and has the in-house slip and crack resistant alloy base and lifting up to the shower head itself and the shampoo and soap dispenser. Just shut that off and open back up when entering or exiting the ensuite space at the door is the recess here with the towel rail holders and then moving forward and wrapping around just to give a bit of an overview of the van on the inside itself all right everyone i'm going to wrap it up here so we can head off for a test tow it's getting close to the factory close so we want to be able to pack this down and head off and adjust the electric brakes make sure everything's hooked up hitched up and adjusted right and we will wrap up and catch you on the next walkthrough. Thanks again for all the great support, everyone. I hope you are enjoying the videos. Any feedback or comments, please leave them in the comments box below. We appreciate all the feedback and thank you very much for all of the fantastic support with our extended Kedron YouTube family. For everyone who subscribes, all the regular commenters, the supporters, uh, on behalf of all the family and the whole team here at Kedron. Like we say, a near 60 year family business. So all of the support is very much appreciated indeed. Thank you again, everyone. All the very best, stay safe, and we might catch up with you on the track someday. If not, we'll catch you on the next board crew. Thanks again, everyone. All the very best and bye for now. Oh, my God.